Good afternoon. Pippa and I have come to Chepstow today. Look where we are. We're just by the castle. Ah, and there's a car coming. And this is where we're going later. But first of all, we're walking into town to get some lunch because we are starving. We had to buy our tickets online. I say we, Pippa's got them. <laughs> so she's got a ticket on her phone because at the moment you can't just walk up and go in. You do have to book in advance. We're not sure if this is a shortcut or a very pleasant diversion. <laughs> But we found this rather beautiful little public garden, so we thought we'd just pop in for a look. I've been tree spotting again. I just ticked off apple, and there's another one here as well. Look at them. Oh, getting ready. Yeah, we found a way out. Lovely church up there. We've just popped in through the gate of this old church to get a closer look because you couldn't see it for the trees from the outside. There's very beautiful detail in the stone arch around the door. That reminds me, dinner time. Oh, look at that old circus fan, my goodness. 170 pounds, the camel's peeping out. We found Tiffin Tea and Coffee House and we've decided to stop here for lunch. We found this ideal little spot here in the fresh air, so I'm gonna pop in and order. Nearly forgot. It's because I'm in holiday mode. I'm forgetting all the pandemic stuff. I need to choose what I'm gonna have. We need to sit out here and she's gonna come out and take our order now. A lovely young lady has come and served us our drinks. I've got a, a soya cappuccino. Oh, oh, Tea Tea action. Porridge. How British. Ooh, it is very British. Hot and everything. Yes. Oh, you put the milk in first, you're one of those. I, I put the milk in first too. It mixes better, I feel, but you could say it curdles the milk, but I've never found that happens. I've never found, I think it tastes nicer, honestly, with the milk in first. When it's, a, when it's a pour like that, but if I was doing a tea bag, the yes, milk goes I in last. Yes, that's exactly how I do it as well. We've been having a very lovely chat, haven't we? Yeah. But it's tuck in time now. Mm. She's going for the egg mayo. Mm. Verdict? Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, and there's mine. Look, Just give you a little sneaky peek at the contents. It's pesto, tomatoes, and mozzarella all melty, and a little salad on the side. That was yummy. And we're off to the castle now. We've just arrived at the castle. There's a queue to get in by the look of it. The helicopter outside the castle. We are queuing to get in. And we're in. Well, how much did it cost to get in today, Pippa? Uh, £5.50. Yeah, so I thought that was suspiciously inexpensive, but I, I don't know what it normally is. But I wondered if certain things were inaccessible due to the pandemic. Oh, the rain has started, doesn't it? Now, we're in the kitchen at the moment, so can you imagine food being cooked in here for the whole of the castle? That is one of the biggest serving hatches I think I've ever seen. And over here, I think this is the drain. Yeah. I think we're done with the kitchen. We're going on to the next bit. Hello. Hello. Can I please bother you for some, uh, some I'm not sure, what, what did they serve back in the olden days? Um, turnips. I'd like some turnips, please, for his lordship. <laughs> Thanks very much. I shall run him up to his lordship now. She does early childcare. She's used to role-playing games. I need the mask for this bit, look. Go in here. Oh, I think this must be the loo, Pippa. Do you need to go? Yeah, you thought there were no toilets in this castle open. Do I need a loo? Well, here it is. Oh, is it the guard robe or something, isn't it called? Is that what it's called? Guard oh, something? Yeah. Guard the dog, something. Keep on oh. guard that you don't drop your robe down there. Look. <laughs> Bits of armour or the battling knife. There's an outsidey bit there. Could you bring the wine with you? <laughs> I reckon my shots Sorry. again. I was being a hearty. <laughs> well, I was trying to be. I was going to say, could you bring the wine, please? But you don't drink wine, and neither do I. No, I know, but I'd like you to bring it up here so we can have it on the veranda. With that turnip you so nicely prepared. 
It's a bit close to the toilet for my liking. Yeah, you'd probably have a pongy waft coming back in the Middle would. Ages, wouldn't you? Well, what worries me is you've got the pongy waft and then right next to it you've got where the food's delivered. Yeah, that's And then true. a beautiful wine veranda. I remember this from last time I was here. You see that hatch down there? They used to actually have like supplies arrive and they used to pass it through the hatch. Arrive by river, you know. That's a big drop though, isn't it, actually, to do that. Hmm. We'll go down there next. Hey, I was right. Look, wine and beer used to get winched up. There, look, there's a little diagram, you see? Not the best lighting in it, it's a bit dark being a salad, but look, there we are. Get the boats there, winch it all the way up into here. Look, I found some old graffiti, JL. I wonder what that stands for and how long it's been there. I'm always intrigued by the old graffiti. But anyway, here's where that wine and beer would have been pulled up from. storytelling happening at the moment that instrumentalist oh sorry those instrumentalists are accompanied by a storyteller or well, maybe she's accompanied by them I suppose it depends on your perspective and as you can see a little crowd is gathered and they're listening attentively oh it's doing a bit of singing right now we're in the great hall or a neavaur if you want to say it in Welsh from 1280. Here we are, look on the diagram. Can you see they would have been all seated at their long table here, having a good old tuck in with the servants coming back and forth with lovely big plates of food and drink. Going up some steps now. It's funny listening to that storytelling group because I used to do a bit of that. I used to be a musician with a little storytelling company as well. We used to do tales from the Mabinogion. I was only briefly in it. So it'd be like things like, and then a great wind came into the hall and by the harpist would be like, <laughs> doing the sound effects. Going in. Oh yes, this is looking very fancy. Obviously a modern floor. Look at that fireplace there. And we see a pit. Oh, it's blocked off at the top, look. Got some big models here. Oh, the original great tower from 1067 to 1087. Let's have a peek in through the top. We're going up into the next part of the castle now. One of the towers. Oh, look, a little fireplace. We've come into a round tower and it's a multi-storey one as well, but obviously the floors have gone. Have a look around. You can see some of the upstairs chambers. I'm particularly fascinated by those up there. I don't know why, they just look really intriguing. I wish I could fly up and have a look. Well, the rain has stopped anyway and the sun's come out, so the hat has come back on. It's absolutely perfect because it's really warm, but with a refreshing, mild breeze. It's very nice. We are in the Middle Bailey, apparently. The late 11th century Great Tower is the earliest surviving building at Chepstow. We've just popped up here now to have a little look. We're going to take a stroll all the way along there. Do not climb on the monument. Or you'll end up like that. for sticking the arrows through. Oh, I wonder what's through here. Looks like this has fallen into disrepair. I'm gonna go back and catch up with Pippa. We're on the move again. We're going up into the final big chamber thing. Oh, there's Pippa at the end. Just, oh, and disappeared again. <laughs> We're taking it all in at a very leisurely pace today because we do have quite a bit of time before. Oh, I'm getting the train home today because Pippa's just gonna head on back to where she lives straight away from here and I'm gonna get the train back in the other direction. 
Oh, another vantage point of the river. Look, a big bend there. Look at this bench. Oh, it's beautiful. Hey, I've seen my second apple tree. Well, my fourth, actually. I saw three earlier. Look at that. What a lot of detail has gone into that. It's beautiful. Hey, I feel like I'm filming the castle all over again. I just thought I was somebody else and apologised for keeping me waiting. <laughs> you don't have to you. <laughs> no, you don't, because I'm exactly the same. In fact, I'm probably worse. Oh, we can't get up there today. No entry. Oh, you can see the road over there, look. Let me just cut Jen. Yeah, quite a vantage point, look. See, a bit of modernity there. Bless you. <laughs> I thought that was Pepper Snees in there, but somebody else said thank you. Oh, what a wind come up. I can feel it blowing my hair back, it is. <gasps> you can walk all down there, you know, Pepper. There's like um, a castle side walk you can do. Stuck myself. <laughs> Pippa's got a magnetic pendant on. Stuck myself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the pendant has got a camera attached to it. It's a little teeny tiny action cam there. This section is cordoned off at the moment. We can't go in today. I've been in in the past though. I have an old vlog on my channel somewhere of Chepstow Castle. So, well, I could link it in the description for you if you like. Izzy was all little and squeaky then. And she'd just had shingles. It was her first outing after she'd had shingles, it was. Yeah, years ago. This door is obviously very, very old. Now, they do have some historically record-breakingly old doors here at the castle. Now, we are in a tour maur. Can you guess what that is? Yes, you were correct if you guessed it was the Great Tower. And it looks like this. This was worked on in three eras, apparently. The first was Norman, when they sort of did this two-storey version of it. So there was an upstairs and a downstairs. And then after that, the marshals came along, 1219 to 45, and they modified the first floor, made some new windows, got some private apartments at the far end, that kind of thing. And they heightened that end of the tower as well. And then later on, Roger, now is that Bigod, Bigod, Bigo? I don't know. 1293 to 1300. Now he extended the upper story over the remainder of the tower. Anyway, so that's what it was like. Look, you can just see where the division was between the two stories because those holes there that the supporting timbers presumably would have gone in, but they're not there now, are they? They're just the skeletal remains. Those teeny tiny round windows are a bit intriguing, aren't they? I'm trying to get a shot of that for you, Rick. A little bit of ornate carving left over. I'm very weathered, but still there for us to look at today. I wonder what these would have been if they would have been windows that are now closed up, or if they were there for some other reason. Very interesting. Oh, we've come to somewhere very, very special. I was convinced this bit was cordoned off, but it isn't. It's a very, very old and very, very special door. Mm, I think I might need to put my mask on. So here are the very special doors from 1190, which makes them the oldest ones in Europe. I can smell a very sort of woody smell and I'm wondering if it's them. I'm gonna have to give them a sniff. Hang on. Yeah, it is the, it is the doors I can smell. Are you door sniffing? I am door sniffing it and it is actually the doors I can smell. I'll get a separate section to you. Oh, she's having a sniff as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> right in. It's a lilac. <laughs> <laughs> a fine bouquet. <laughs> You know, if you're going to experience something, it's good to get as many senses in as Do possible. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. I'll get a splinter in my tongue. That'll be my flute playing out the window, won't it?
are having another little pit stop. We've had a lovely time in the castle, haven't we? We have had a lovely time in the castle. It's been serene and calm and very, very interesting. I feel educated. And I hope I will have educated everyone who watches my vlog, and Imo will have definitely educated you all. Watch she Pippa's talk vlog. As much toss as I do. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think we're both as bad as each other. <laughs> we, we've been witnessing what each other cuts out <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For behind the scenes. To watch Pippa's vlog. I'm going to link it at the end of this. So we've got some very, very icy cold drinks from the Tourist Information Centre over there, which is just closing for the day, so we timed that right. Speaking of timing, I've got to keep an eye on it because my train is at about 5.25, so I've got to make sure I can get to that in time, but we've got plenty of time yet. I've decided that Pippa and I are quite compatible for when it comes to visiting castles because we are both lingering savourers. We linger and savour as we go. Uh, and some people like to rush through <coughs> IB <laughs> and they get impatient uh, and I always just end up holding everybody up because like, I'm very slow when it comes to that sort of thing. I like to zoom in with my eyeballs even if I'm not filming and look at the very small details and really just get in close. Anyway, yeah, I've enjoyed doing that today. And we were both a bit knackered, weren't we, after yesterday mm. and the day before because we did a lot of walking, but we didn't today. It's very restful. I'm back at the van. I'm just, I came to get my rucksack because I left it in Pippa's van, you see. And it's time to say goodbye to Pippa, but do watch her video of today, which will be linked at the end of this one. Thank you, please do. Bye! <laughs> We've said our goodbyes. There she is, look, sneakily in the coach parking bay, but we had permission, so it was okay. I'm heading off towards the railway station now, and I'll probably just buy some sort of takeout food from Tesco or whatever I can find, really, to sort of snuffle under the mask on the train when I eventually get hungry. It says the railway station is this way, and you know, I'm pretty sure there's a great big supermarket nearby that I could pop into quickly and just buy a takeout sandwich. Let's see if I remembered rightly. Here we are, we've found Tesco's. It's, uh, it's right by the station, I think. Yeah, I think the station's that way. Anyway, let's just bob in quick. I've got about 20 minutes, so it should be just the right amount of time, really. Right, this is the bit we want. They've got a temporary stairs thing going over, and presumably it's the other platform on the other side. I've cut it slightly fine, but I think I've got five minutes. I just bought a ticket from the machine. Whew. These ones are really steep. They're like, they go higher, and they're much steeper than the normal railway bridges. There's the old one there, look, close for repairs. and eat my food that I got from Tesco's. I simply got a meal deal. I did decide on an egg and cress sandwich, a packet of crisps and some fizzy water. That came to £2.80. The meal deal is usually £3, but I think it was cheaper without being a meal deal. Oh, look, there's a seven bridge. <laughs> I don't normally get to see it from that perspective. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? If you've enjoyed today's video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate it. If you'd like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!